We are in Mainz, uh, Germany. You can see the Rhine River behind me at the Wine Börse, which is kind of a in premiere style of tasting of all the new new releases and new vintage. So we're tasting now the 2010 vintage at the Rheingold Halle. And we're gonna go inside and taste a few wines. Uh, I've been here for a few days and tasted some pretty interesting stuff. And we're gonna meet up with some cool guys. Actually, we're not gonna go tasting German wines, I think. We're gonna have a special tasting. So, here you can see there's different areas. There's R. But the Rheingau is over there, so you can taste the different areas. But we're gonna go to our secret spot. And there's Pear, the sexiest man in Germany. And there's Marco, the toughest guy in Germany. And we're gonna we're gonna taste the wine. Why don't you, Marco, tell us something about this wine? That's why that's the wine punk, which is actually my first uh, own project with um, some guys in Bassano del Grappa. They're called Contrasso Arda, uh, a quite young winery actually, and uh, they have this beautiful vineyard um, on volcanic soil with old Marzimino um, rootstocks and yeah. So this is this is a project from Italy. It's not a. German wine. It's actually from Italy. It's very close to the to the area where my family is coming from. Yeah, in okay. Veneto. So why um, don't you give us a, a little, you know, background story of you know you, you don't look like a the traditional stereotype of a wine snob exactly. I don't. And I love your <laughs> shoes, dude. Uh, why don't you tell us uh, who are you and what you do and where? So uh, my name is uh, Marco. They call me the wine punk. And. Um, the little story of wine punk is actually goes back to 2006 when I was traveling in uh, Colorado, Aspen Vale. Yeah, very um, sophisticated area for uh, gourmets, wine drinkers, uh, skiing people. And I was talking to a guy who didn't have a clue about uh, what he was talking about in wine. And he gave me his business card and there was written his name on and below it said uh, wine snob. And I thought, that's just the crappiest thing I've seen in so yeah. many years in the wine business. And I thought, my next business card is going to be my name with Wine Punk. I mean, the guy actually had on his business card written Wine Snob. Exactly. That's, that's amazing. Pretty, yeah. Okay, so that this kind of generated the idea of doing something different. Exactly. And, uh, but you're originally from Italy, and but you do mm -hmm. different kind of wine projects. Uh, exactly. And this is one of them. What, are, what other things do you do? Um, the other project is in... Um, Monte Grosso d'Asti, which is in Piedmont, with a good friend of mine, Gian Piero Bianco from uh, Tenuta La Meridiana. He's actually very into uh, Barbera d'Asti, yeah. and he has this small vineyard, which is uh, not even two acres, uh, with an old variety called Albarossa, which is a cross pollination between Nebbiolo and Barbera. Yeah. Just and hold that thought. Pierre is actually giving his ass. I'm gonna grab his ass. Uh, he's not doing that for the <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, continue. Yeah, this was the first project uh, we did in 2006, uh, Albarossa, and the wine is called Zanzara, which is my nickname in Italy, Zanzara is Mosquito. Mosquito? Yeah. Why, why uh, they call it the Mosquito? Don't ask that story, it's going to be I mean, a you, have, you have nicknames, so like, you look like a hitman, you know, the Mosquito. <laughs> the mosquito. He's going to come and sting you real bad. Yeah. Alright, so, um, so tell us more about this particular wine. Uh, yeah, what as you wine can see, wine punk, um, it should be uh, aggressive marketing. Because I think wine is not a sophisticated thing. Wine is fun, wine is life, wine is heritage, uh, wine is for everyone and not only for the rich. And this is why I made Wine Park. And um, my slogan is Pogo for your tongue. Just rock your palate. And uh, you are the one to choose what you drink. Your choice. 
wants to make laughs. That's what Hendrix says all the time. You know that? <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, the marketing is quite aggressive, but um, wine-wise, it's kind of uh, really traditional. Marzamino, very old variety. Um, half of it, half of the juice is uh, wild yeast fermented. Only big uh, tonneaux, 500 liters. No filtering, no fining. 24 months in barrels, one year in the bottle. So it's 2007 current, uh, current vintage. Okay. So and I kind of like it. <laughs> I'm sure you do. So we're gonna taste that. And uh, do you have any message? What would be your message about wine to people in Scandinavia and then all over the world about wine? About wine. So. Or about anything, whatever. About anything. Yeah. First of all, I'm sad what I've heard uh, politics in Finland. Can I say that? Yeah, yeah, okay. you can. <laughs> so, no, my opinion about wine. Uh, wine is really important. Wine is an intelligent drink. Wine creates memories. Wine creates. Um, uh, talking between people, you can talk about the product, you can talk about the story behind it, and it's a fun drink. So, drink wine. Excellent. And have fun. Perfect. That's a that's a good way to end this clip, and we're gonna taste the wines, uh, and we're gonna tell you later what kind of wine was it, and hopefully we'll see you next time. I'm going to Barcelona next and film some fun clips there. Cheers.